Hi folks, just showing you my latest Arduino project with an 8x8 uh, RGB LED matrix. Uh, I got this 8x8 matrix and didn't have a shield for the Arduino to control it, so I decided to breadboard my own control uh, using four shift registers. I searched around and found some instructions on YouTube uh, by the Tasmanian Devil, that's his username. And I followed his schematic almost I, exactly, except I did not use transistors. He used transistors to control the anodes, and I did not. I didn't see any reason to do that. And as you can see, it's working just fine without transistors. And uh, I'll post a link to his site so you can uh, take a look at his schematic and uh, also copy his code, uh, which I did. And... Uh, used to uh, just get things running and then I added some other code to show characters and numbers and of course to control a temperature sensor. Alright so I changed the exposure so you can see what's going on a little bit better. Here I've got uh, the Arduino and it's connected to the computer that's where it's getting its 5 volts. And you can see the matrix and some breadboards. This one here is controlling all the RGB colors. So there's three shift matrix shift registers there. There's another shift register over here controlling the anodes. And you can see a bunch of resistors here. Those are all connected to the RGB cathodes. And I'm using uh, 200 ohm resistors there. And again, I did not use transistors to control the anodes, and it's working just fine. On this wire here, I've got the temperature sensor. I don't know if you can see it that well, but uh, every time it uh, gets temperature, it flashes and uh, gives you the temperature reading. I'll kind of show you how it works a little bit. I'm going to hold on to it, and uh, that should cause the temperature to go up. It was 64. See what we get now. Of course, the exposure might be difficult to see, but we got seven, and I think another seven. Hold on to it, see if it goes any higher. And we got an eight, and a two, I think. So I'll let go. Should go back down. But uh, that's it. That's my Arduino, and uh, using a temperature sensor I got from this 37 sensor kit. And, uh, there it is, folks. Alright, so here's the code that I'm using to drive my 8x8. Starts off with the temperature libraries, Dallas temperature, that comes with the sensor. And the temperature sensor is defined on port 2 of the Arduino. And 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 are used to control the 8x8 RGB matrix. Uh, my code is a little bit different. I've defined these different colors, uh, black, green, blue, light blue, red, yellow, pink, white, uh, just to make it a little bit easier. And down here we also have some more of the temperature code. This is the first frame that gets filled up each time uh, the frames shift. So this is sort of the default frame. You've got to have this one. Happy face is straight from Tasmanian Devil. And this function here called heart is one I wrote that uh, displays a heart. Below that you can see spiral, which has been commented out. And then we start the number frames with 0, 1, 2, 3, on down. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So there's your numbers. And then we get into the alphabet. You see upper A and B and partial C. You can see a lot of my code has been commented out. I did that for a reason because when I had the entire alphabet defined I started running into memory issues with my Arduino Uno. So I've commented out most of the characters that I'm not using. Then we have upper D, E, F, and I'll just uh, keep scrolling through this alphabet so that you guys can copy the code down. And feel free to copy the code and use it as you wish. And these are my sort of made up fonts and <laughs> some are better than others so please do uh, modify it. Upper R, T, on down, 
the rest of the alphabet here. And we get into the rest of the code. We have this send bit function, which sends the data to the shift registers. And then send data from array, which runs every time the frames shift and prints out each line at a time. We've got the anode, green, red, and blue. That's pretty much taken straight out of Tasmanian Devil's code. Uh, along with the clear function as you see here. Solid color is a function I wrote just to display a solid color on the screen which kind of helped me with troubleshooting when I was setting it up. Uh, my resistors, some of them were a little loose in the breadboard so not all the colors were displaying. Is, so that just helped me uh, do some troubleshooting at first. Let me get down here to show character which allows you to send a symbol uh, like a number or a uh, alphabet character and it displays out the proper character and again some of the codes been commented out just because I'm not using it and don't want to eat up memory color shift is another function I wrote just to shift the color in one direction you can play around with that just by changing this variable here that you send to the uh, function color change is another function that I wrote I don't know if you noticed in my um, character definitions that they are usually zeros and ones. I did that for a reason. That way uh, I can change them easily. Like with this color change function I just send two colors and I'll change the zero to one color and the one to another color which allows me to display those characters in different background and foreground uh, to differentiate easily between the characters. Uh, here's another function called stripes I wrote. Just displays stripes on the screen of different colors. Helped a little bit in troubleshooting. And there's show happy face from Tasmanian and show heart is one I wrote to display a heart. And we get down to show spiral. I commented that out. Uh, rainbow. So here's scroll up from Tasmanian. I wrote a scroll down function just to extend it a little bit. And here's a function called show int which you just basically pass an integer to it and then it'll show that uh, number on the screen. Ape. Update state, again taken straight from Tasmanian and uh, main thing you just want to pay attention to here is this number. Uh, I've got 35 different cases in my state chain so it just goes through every single one of them based on the amount of time you've specified to wait and uh, you're going to want to change that number. For example, if you want to add more cases, uh, you're going to want to change this number. Otherwise, it's not going to show the ones at the end. And I'll just go down through my cases here. It just starts off with a, a blank screen and starts to scroll upper T. And just scrolls every line of the T until it gets to E. And then it starts scrolling every line of that, starting with the first and on down through all of them and down and P to scroll out temp <laughs> for temperature and we get down to the end here where it uh, gets the temperature and gets it in Fahrenheit and then I basically get the first character using power of 10 and change the color foreground and background and I get down and get the next character using mod and shift the color so that it doesn't look the same as the the, uh, the previous character. For example, if your temperature is 77, it would just flash two. You don't want it flashing two identical sevens because you might just think it's one seven. So you change the uh, background and foreground of the next character. That way if it shows a 77, you can tell the difference. Anyways, now you get down to your basic uh, setup function. Which uh, finds the output of the ports, <clears throat> and you begin your temperature sensors, and then your basic loop function straight from Tasmanian, and that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, uh, I'm basically gonna.